Cartista Jan Becher says that in the past, French automaker Citroën produced legendary models like the DS and the Du Chavot. But recently, unusual and innovative cars like these have been missing from its model range. The C4 Cactus aims to change that. Its novel approach sets it apart from its competitors. Is this the next French revolution? Jan says Citroën calls these air-filled side panels air bumps. They protect the paint job from getting scratched or dented while parking or out shopping, saving you money on pricey touch-up jobs and repairs. Jan says saving is one of the C4 Cactus's major concepts on weight as well as money. The base model Cactus has a curb weight of just 1,040 kilos. 200 less than the Citroën C4 Compact. To shed weight, the car maker's engineers trimmed down the platform and did without some extra equipment. The C4 Cactus has a starting price of just under 14,000 euros, though our test car with a 60 kilowatt engine sells for around 16,500. The Cactus's rounded front features modern LED daytime running lights above the halogen headlights. 30 air bumps on the sides, and two at the front and back provide protection from dings and scratches. Citroën has also replaced traditional wind-down rear windows with pop-out ones. That alone makes the car 11 kilos lighter. The rear seat bench only folds down in one piece, which Citroën claims saves another 6 kilos. Jan says that for its relatively small price, you can't expect real leather upholstery. But he feels Citroën has managed to give the cactus's interior a high-quality feel, mainly through the use of different surface materials. He says everything's very minimalist and focused on what's important. He especially likes the luggage strap door handles together with the aluminum door openers. And he approves of the glove compartment design which resembles suitcases of the 1960s and 70s. To make space for that large and chic glove compartment, the front passenger airbag has been moved and is now elegantly stowed in the roof. Jan says the two modern displays at the front contrast nicely with the retro luggage look, though the first display only tells him his speed and how much gas he has in the tank. There's no tachometer, for instance. But he can control all of the other functions over the touchscreen, like the sat-nav or the climate control. Jan says it all works really well, though he'd like the system to react a bit quicker, as he has to control almost every function by a touchscreen. Citroën has found ways of saving on cost, weight and resources on even the most banal equipment, like the windshield washer system. Called Magic Wash, its washer jets are fitted in the tips of the wipers to provide a bead of liquid rather than a spray, so there's no loss of visibility when washing. The system saves on window washer fluid, too, so the fluid reservoir can be smaller and therefore lighter. But how does the C4 Cactus drive? Jan finds the steering very smooth and the suspension quite soft, so you barely notice when you go over bumpy roads, though the suspension is a bit too soft for his taste. And like the Duchevaux before it, he says the Cactus tends to shudder a bit when starting and braking. So maybe it's not the automotive revolution we've been waiting for. Jan feels what's really special about the C4 Cactus is that Citroën has built a back-to-basics car. It has few bells and whistles, but doesn't scrimp on comfort either. It's packaged in a fresh design at an affordable price, so the Cactus C4 could be called a mini-revolution after all. <laughs>